Hey, Kamesh, let's see Quad A, baby. All right, everybody's in this room to fill out some brackets. John Eckert's here to tell you which ones to pick. Johnny. No, that's wrong. Quad A. Words crisscrossing. <laughs> then they did a little twirl. Talk to me about the matchups here, baby. <laughs> the first one that really jumps out at me is the 8 9 matchup. <laughs> Stank versus Poop. This looks, at first glance, like a classic naughty word matchup. But Skank didn't get into the tournament on its noun bag because that's a slang word, so it's ineligible. It came in on its verb form for sort of a loose limb dancing. So it's also used in its gerund form and it plays a wild spastic style, which is a, a style that Poop is very familiar with. As a poop, the question is which Poop shows up? At the beginning of this season, this word was disorganized, playing a loose style. As the season wore on, we saw a team come together and Poop really played as a unit. And in the end, I think that's the word that's going to show up for this tournament, and Poop squeezes through over Skank. That's the Poop! That's the Poop that shows up! Give me one more, give me one more matchup you love, baby. Oh. I know the other one you see here that I really like is Nymph versus Keith. Hold on, let's get Nymph back up here while uh, we're going to talk about you while you get up here. Take, take your, take your there you go, big guy. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to go with the favorite in this matchup. Nymph, the five seed over 12 team. We've yeah. seen what Nymph can do in person. It's yep. devastating! That's right! It's a yeah. devastating impression. Tiny little little physical green, but it's got power. Yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, T has a strong literal meaning. But it's not used very frequently. It often gets muscled out by other words in its conference. Yeah. Also, T plays absolutely no defense. <laughs> I've seen Nymph gliding gently over it Nymph's into the feet. next round. Oh, sorry, buddy. Step down. Sorry, buddy. Nymph fence. Nymph's going through. That's what I mean. Nymph. Woo! Hey, I'm right here for you. Thanks for coming out, man. Thank you. Let's look right across that bracket. What you got there? Right across that there. bracket. Nibble Barky Soda. What is that? Yeah. What is it? Nibble well, Barky you know, Soda. Kerfuffle enters the tournament Woo! having slept with small town freshmen all semester. So it's got a moderate amount of chafing and an enormous amount of confidence, all <laughs> captured in three small Fs. But here it is against eclectic. Three small Cs, full court press. Princeton-style back picks. And in the end, what happens, and you didn't see this coming, I'm pretty sure, is that Eclectic lures Pretty Boy Kerfuffle back to its dorm room. All, all sweater vests and European bath salts. And then it, it sits a quiet coconut helmet filled with hungry rats right there on its head. Whoa. Woo! What I mean when I say that is... Eclectic wins. <laughs> Kerfuffle! I hope I hope you're right. I'm not gonna words. I'm not gonna miss Kerfuffle and his goddamn flock of seagulls haircut. <laughs> Nadra shorts. It's, uh, it's a fun word to say. Forty two on the front nine. Expunge <laughs> 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 Nobody likes that guy. <laughs> Kamish? Nip. Kamish? No, I, 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 gotta, I gotta hear your guys' thoughts on how the wild card's gonna do. You guys didn't Let's know talk you. a little about Succotash, yeah? Yeah, let's talk about Succotash. Let me hear how you're gonna do. It's up to you. Kelsey, why don't you come on up? Come on back up here. Little Miss Jewish Holiday. So now I, I have a very specific question for you. Yeah. Let's assume for a moment. It survives and gets past Marauder. Yeah. That's a big if. That's a That's big, a big if. if. Does Succotash have a chance in hell against the one seed Myriad? Absolutely. Yeah. I would pick the winner of the 8 9 game here, Succotash versus Marauder, over Myriad. Tell us why, buddy. Myriad's overhyped. <laughs> Tell this, us why, buddy. This is a word that's confused about whether it should have an article in front of it or not. <laughs> Tell us why, buddy. She has a myriad of cats. She has myriad cats. They both sound wrong. She has a lot of cats. 
Myriad is all hype. It's going down, and the winner of the eight nine days is gonna run roughshod all over it. Kelsey, Kelsey has just two fucking words for you. Raise your hand if you think this is the winner. Suffering succotash. <laughs> Maybe we do the proper now tournament. Kelsey for 2012! <laughs> Woo! Okay, who's ready for Quadrant B? Yeah! Let's see Quad B, baby! Let's get a little smoky sound. Let's make those words spin, Kamish! What does everybody love out here? Let me tell you one thing that I love. I love the 611, albeit cauterized matchup. Such a great matchup. <laughs> albeit one of the only matchups with the possibility of an ups upset. Albeit one of the only matchups that pits violence against second guessing. <laughs> albeit one of cauterized will jump off the bench. Anytime the coach is screaming, we gotta stop the bleeding. <laughs> albeit, albeit has a terrible habit of eating Scrabble on game day. Albeit, the literal definition of albeit is if all these things are true, Mike, Mike, still, who's gonna win the game? Albeit. But, it's gonna get fucking smithered by smithereens in the second round. True! Ah. Oh. It's not, totally true! Not sing so it, fast. sister! Put it in your brackets! <laughs> not so sing fast, Mike, not so fast. For those of you who are looking for a real Bubble Buster team out there, it's, it's, a, it's a team matched up against Smithereens in the first round, Genuflect. This yeah. word is a real people pleaser. Its uniform Genuflect. is an altar boy's cassock. <laughs> a real dream matchup in the final four would be Genuflect against uh, a, another maybe Bubble Buster team from the four plus syllable region, Mustachio. Could you, could you imagine Genuflect lining up against the word whose platonic form sits upon Tom Selleck's face? Gorgeous. I can really see these two teams just turning off their phones and playing for three days. By playing, he means having sex. But, but uh, before I get ahead of myself, Genuflect has to get by Smithereen. And Smithereen is a bona fide number three seed. This is a great word. When you Smithereen actually makes you see small pieces of things that have, of something that is just blown up, falling back to the earth. But you know what? I'm picking uh, I'm picking submission to triumph over violence in a dream finish, genuflex in a buzzer beater. Uh, also, uh, Genuflect's father, who's, who's never really been there and never seen Genuflect play, I've just been told, is in the audience tonight. <laughs> so, I think that's going to carry, carry the word through as well. Hey, Kamish! I, I wasn't aware. Uh, I was about to say Genuflect sounded like kind of a pussy, but... <laughs> Not anymore. No disrespect. No disrespect. Oh my God. No disrespect. Eckhart, I heard, I heard a little bit of a, a Kimbo love out there, and I, I know you also love uh, this This word. is a game that I'm really, really looking forward to seeing. The 215 matchup between a Kimbo and Hickama. And the reason I'm looking forward to seeing it is to see this pretentious vegetable get the shit kicked out. Yeah, fuck Hickama! Aye, aye, aye. Kimbo, fuck Hickama! Has an enormous amount of uh, the way that the word is ordered with the bookend vowels. It's ultra specific meaning. It's a dominant team, and I am just really looking forward to it kicking the shit out of Hickama. Thanks for all the bland salads, Hickama. I look forward to seeing you. I'm just gonna stand there and watch. <laughs>